Hey Harmonizers, look who it is. Our little fool is here. So this is Secret and her new little baby. And uh, here he is going to attempt to do his first nursing. And in the beginning, it's a little bit tricky. He doesn't really understand what he's supposed to do. But I'll show you guys some clips over um, the little part of the video of him learning and progressing in his first day of life. So in the beginning, he's kind of nuzzling at his mom's side, at her leg, doesn't really know where to get the teats to get his milk. And for those of you guys that don't know, Secret went down to Florida last year to be bred for her first baby. So this is her first little baby. He's a little colt. And uh, I didn't breed her until summertime of last year because Canada is quite cold and even up until a week before his birth we had some really cold rain spells so I'm really happy that he wasn't born until end of June which uh, made it be a lot better for him so it was a lot warmer a lot nicer for him to be born in that so in the beginning you can see he's really kind of struggling to figure out how to nurse and that's really the the biggest most important thing because they need to get that colostrum they need to get that milk and uh, it's really important for them here's a little look at him off the side so secret is actually a buckskin thoroughbred uh, she often looks like she's uh, just like a bay or a brown horse people find that kind of confusing but she does have a dilute gene a cream gene and she was bred to a black and white pinto stallion that I'll show you guys pictures in a little bit here after we look at some more clips of little baby. Look, this is his first little drink of milk. So exciting, his first little taste. And uh, and then he gets a little bit of the other side. But he's like, oh, okay, that's pretty good. But then he kind of loses it and is like, how did I do that again? Where did it go? Uh, so it's all new things that they have to learn and they have instincts and they have uh, reflexes, but we have to kind of help them out a little bit sometimes, make sure they get that milk, that they're in the right position for that. So we're really watching to make sure that he gets enough milk in the beginning, that he gets that colostrum. The colostrum for baby horses, they really have to get it in the first eight hours. They need to get enough colostrum, and if they don't, then they end up needing a plasma transfusion, which you're going to see he ends up getting because he did not get enough colostrum. And maybe because you're sucking on your mother's leg there and in the wrong spot, um, which could be just a combination of, you know, secret having her first baby. So maybe she didn't have enough or maybe because he wasn't nursing properly and didn't have it figured out in time. And you can see he's healthy looking, he's trying, he's you know, trying his best to figure it out. He just doesn't understand that that leg does not produce milk. He's like, where, where did that come from again? How did I find that before? Uh, so when he gets kind of too far in there, then we reposition and help kind of bring him back. So you can see Franny's on the other side there. She's just kind of holding him back so he doesn't get too far in between his mommy's legs. And then he's able to find a little bit of milk there and, and nurse. And so it was pretty exciting sending Secret down to Florida and being bred and she stayed there long enough to be ultrasounded and we didn't bring her back to Canada until uh, things were kind of secured in her pregnancy. We waited until she was after 45 days pregnant because then less likely to lose the foal when they transport back. So all of that went really well. And Secret, uh, she seemed to do really well. She ended up having um, a flush and... Uh, like for the placenta and beat on antibiotics as a precaution and she did really well you can kind of see her buckskin color a little bit but she's what you would call a sooty bus buckskin and you can see laying there milk was literally just kind of pouring out of her um, this is washing the umbilical cord so kind of sterilizing or um, uh sanitizing that, wanting to make sure that he doesn't get infection. So one of the biggest risks for babies is getting an infection through their um, their cord there. So we were just cleansing that. And then here's him starting to get better at nursing. So you can see as the hours go by, now he's getting much, much better at nursing. He's holding longer. He's doing nice big swallows. So those are all the things that we're looking for in those first few hours. So uh, we check 
mom's placenta. We want to make sure the whole thing's there. We check that he's nursing. We clean that cord. And you want to make sure that baby gets up, which he did really nicely. And uh, here you can see his suckling so much better than what it was in the beginning. It takes him a little bit to learn how to do that. And nice little clip of them heading into the evening. I'll show you guys a little clip of Evelyn meeting baby for the first time. He does not have a name. So his dad's name is Fine Print. And then Secret's registered name is Harmony's Secret Gold. And she did have to go all the way down to Florida to be bred because uh, she's a registered thoroughbred. And to be registered thoroughbred, you have to do live cover. So you can't do artificial. This is Evelyn saying hello to baby. So it's super important that we want to make sure baby knows that people are friendly, that he can be pet, and that there's nothing to be worried about. And Secret is the sweetest mom. She's really great. We didn't have to sedate her for anything, which sometimes you have to sedate the mares for uh, having their uterus tracked or for doing a flush. With his color, we're not entirely sure if he's a smoky black or if he's a black. So I have taken his mane, some mane hairs, which have the root on them, and we are sending them off for DNA. So we'll be testing him out, seeing what he's got. Uh, here you can kind of see that kind of buckskin, sooty buckskin color coming through that dilution gene there of secret. And I'll show you some pictures of um, his dad in a second of fine print. Uh, but he definitely looks like he's either going to be a black or a smoky black. Smoky black means that he carries the dilute gene. You can see um, treasure over there. And that's the vets just kind of clean up after doing the biotics and the flushing little baby on the floor there. So he ended up needing a plasma transfusion because when we pulled his blood work, it showed that he did not have high enough uh, antibodies. So we've got a cloth over his eye so he doesn't um, hurt himself on the hay there. And we're just kind of holding him while he's getting a transfusion right now. And Secret is the chillest mom, is just standing there, not on sedation or anything. It's just super quiet. So this is what the stud looks like. I bred to him because of his conformation and his color. I thought that they would complement each other really well. I was really hoping that the baby would have some of those white markings from his daddy, but apparently not. Uh, we ended up with a more solid, a solid little fella, but that was his gorgeous um, father there. And then just here's a little clip of him. This is now, I guess, a week after having his transfusion. So he's much more active now, now that he's a little bit older and stronger and his blood count is up, so his antibodies are looking really good, and he's starting to be a little bit of a playful little guy. So let me know your name ideas for this little guy. So remember, his his dad's name is uh, Fine Print, and Secret is Harmony's Secret Gold. So I definitely want to pick a registration name that kind of combines those together, or we'll see, and I'll let you guys know what the DNA results come back. We're testing for color, but we're also testing for some genetic things considering he's a little colt. So who knows if maybe he will stay potentially a breeding stallion in the future. Thanks for watching, guys.